present to Baldur's Gate, the city of crime and chaos. It was another day in the city of lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. Strangers, only in a fool's definition of the word, it was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice, no matter the cost. All the tall one had to do was say yes. The tall one had failed the first test. They lacked caution. The cat could have just as easily been a foe as a potential friend. Perhaps it was simply not meant to be. Get what you can while the getting's good. We'll be closing our doors soon enough. We mostly trade in noble stock, and well, my fool of a fella Balin never came back with any. If the old sack was going to die, he could have brought back some noble stock beforehand. Without the bloody fungus, Bone Cloak's days are numbered. Well, it's a lot quieter without him bumbling about the place. He was on the slow fade out anyway. He was a terror most of his life, you know. Mean. Drunk. Got a few scars I could show you that'd make you wince. When he got sick, I was grateful for the relief. But so angry, too. We both of us deserved better than life gave us. Now he's off in the city of judgment. Probably wasting away unclaimed. The old heathen. And I'm here. I know. Upon their return, the cat couldn't help but wonder whether the tall one had finally decided how their die would be cast. The tall one volunteered another, the apothecary, a principled dwarf, a scritcher of heads, and a giver of scraps. Perhaps this was where the journey was meant to start, after all. Brilliant future of Baldur's Gate, city of steel and justice. <laughs> You? Take a look at this cat. Does he look like a Harry to you? Please, it's a cat, not a clown. But he's no Harry either, is he? I think I'll call him Walrus. Livens the place up, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Indeed, he does. <laughs> the cat beheld the one who delivered him from the streets while taking on the heavy burden of justice alone. He purred. <laughs> 